It's um Wednesday morning, early Wednesday morning. Of course, I'm up. My time is all messed up. Um, about five o'clock in the morning. Uh, I am in Anchorage, Alaska. Anchorage, Alaska, right now. I'm up here visiting some family, to my brother and friend in the Most High, Yah, Brother Reynolds and his family. Um, we got a lot to cover. Short time to cover. A lot to do today. Um, but I can't help but to come on here and think about uh, this Hurricane Irma um, and what's going on uh, in the world today. Uh, I just got finished texting with Jason at 4 uh, this early in the morning. He says that his wife is at Walmart and he's going to put a video out about all the people down there running each other over, waiting for the trucks, waiting for the trucks to come. And, and of course, I think it's um, very ignorant nonsensical I think it's a very sheeple mentality and attitude because if you listen to people like myself and Pastor Joe Fox you will be prepared in those areas you see fools make a mock at those who are doing wise but the simple people they just pass on you know you think about it it was such a, a welfare mentality that this society has bred in us uh, to the point where conveniences has always been the norm and we think that it's it's always going to be there now I want to change tunes here for a second because I want to talk about something important I remember years and years ago we used to talk about uh, global warming as a matter of fact we used to actually kind of make fun of it in tongue and cheek when we were speaking about Al Gore and global warming well I start thinking, and I, as I listen to these weather forecasts, um, there's, you know, I mean, you ever notice that meteorologist is the only job in the world that you can get it wrong and still keep your job for life? But anyway, um, I start thinking about these meteorologists and, and how they explain how these uh, tornadoes and hurricanes and, and, um, and everything else goes on. And what they all agree on and what science all agrees on is that there is a warming that takes place out in the oceans. And, of course, this warming causes a vacuum. And it causes these Category 4 and Category 5 hurricanes, um, which you would think were in the fall time of the year. So why in the world is all of these hurricanes and earthquakes going on? What the world is happening going on? And, of course... Um, you know, I'm going to tell you, you're going to continue to keep seeing major flooding in major cities. Now, I know that that sounds like someone is a crackpot or a kook or whatever it is, but whatever you call it. But um, this global warming, it seems like that it's something very real. And it's nothing to be lo laughed at and joked at. And the reason being, we just got finished with Hurricane Harvey. And in major cities, what's happening? Flooding. And it's going to continue to keep happening. We had a microburst of a, a storm that took place out in California and just came out of nowhere. And now we have Irma, and now we have Jose right behind it, um, and there's another one out there. Um, and there's a lot of major, major flooding. Even if it hits a Category 4 or Category 3, that still winds in excess of over 100 uh, miles an hour. I think a Hurricane 5 is 180 miles an hour. Um, but I tell you what, to be prepared. To be prepared. Um, that is a lot of water. And then now all you people on this coastal line. That's why I told you to move inward. Uh, years and years and years ago. Um, sure you, you have a nice life out there. Oh it's beautiful, wonderful to be able to be by the water and stuff. But you're going to start thinking. Um, you really you're going to start thinking about what's going on. When you're down there in the lower 48 states. Um. I'll be back in the state soon, talk more about it, uh, may make a few videos today, but uh, stay tuned.